Next from Camden Yards, ESPN is proud to present baseball's ultimate slugging competition. Eight of baseball's premier power hitters going head to head in the Gatorade Home Run Derby. Cecil Fielder, the Tigers behemoth, can anyone match his awesome power? Barry Bonds, he's the National League home run leader and the brightest of baseball stars. We also have Mike Piazza, David Justice, Bobby Bonilla, Ken Griffey Jr., Albert Bell, and Juan Gonzalez, all in a battle of power and pride. Hello, everybody. Mike Patrick along with Joe Morgan. Great to have you with us in Baltimore. The Home Run Derby is one of baseball's most entertaining contests and easiest to understand. Each swing is either a home run or an out. Each hitter gets 10 outs, and theoretically, at least, you get an infinite number of chances to hit home runs. Joe, we've all watched people jack them out in batting practice, but this is different. Well, you're right, Mike. It's definitely different. In batting practice, you're relaxed. Really, you're just having fun, kind of going through the motions. But the moment they add the word competition to it, all of a sudden your adrenaline starts to flow and you start over swinging. You want to prove that you're the best. So I think what will happen today is the guy that remains relaxed, treats his most like batting practice, will be the most successful home run hitter today. Now, Oriole Park at Camden Yards is a park that favors the power hitters. 364 to the power alley in left center, a tantalizing 318 down the right field line. And those lefties will be aiming at the warehouse behind the right field wall. And Buck Martinez is out there right now. Ever since the ballpark opened last year, ballplayers have been talking about who would be the first hitter to hit the warehouse in right field. It's a long shot, and there have been some great American League hitters that have taken a shot at that. Mickey Tettleton hit the longest so far in a regular season game, 406 feet away, just 26 feet shy of the building. A few minutes ago in batting practice, Ken Griffey Jr. hit one about 10 feet further than that. So we could see a ball hit the warehouse today in a home run contest. The first guy up to the plate has a legitimate shot at it. Left-handed hitting Dave Justice from the Atlanta Braves. David Justice of the Atlanta Braves is our first hitter as the National League leads it off. Justice with 20 home runs, third in the National League. And Joe, how do you change your approach to hitting for something like this? Well, I think what Justice will do is just add a little more uppercut to his swing. He already has a slight uppercut. He doesn't really need to do very much. Kevin Hickey, former White Sox and Oriole pitcher, is serving them up. Remember, every swing is either a home run or an out, and that's one out. You know, what's interesting here, Mike, is they had another pitcher warming him up in batting practice, and then they changed pitchers. <laughs> that makes a difference. A little tricky. Right. Two outs for Justice. He has struggled at the plate this year with his average, 242. 269 career hitter coming into the season, and he has had three outs so far. There's one. One home run for David Justice. The 318 down the line, a very inviting target. But I tell you, Mike, it does make a difference the pitcher that you're facing because you takes you about five or six pitches before you groove in on a pitcher's rhythm. Fair ball home run and hit a ton a long home run. <laughs> that one is hooking foul. They said the other ball hit the warehouse. Well we've already had it. No one in history supposedly had hit the warehouse yet. And Justice just launched one off the base up. Another one that didn't have the distance and hook foul. David Justice, nine outs. And that's ten. So he'll finish with two home runs. One a prodigious job. 
that we're told went off the base of the warehouse. We'll be back with Ken Griffey Jr. and more from the Gatorade Home Run Derby in a moment. ESPN's presentation of the Gatorade Home Run Derby is brought to you by Gatorade Thirst Quencher. Nothing quenches that deep down body thirst better than Gatorade. And by Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Light. You're looking at shots from this year's MVB, the most valuable blimp, the Bud One Airship, a thousand feet above Camden Yards, with the help of pilots Mike Hansen, Tony Stevenson, and camera operator George Shazma. While we were away, Albert Bell of the Cleveland Indians knocked three out of the ballpark, and then there was the at-bat for Mike Piazza of the Dodgers. Well, Mike Piazza had a very difficult at-bat here, Mike. He did not hit any home runs, but you know what? He will have other chances in future All-Star competition. Unfortunately, he drew the collar. Let's move ahead to Ken Griffey Jr. He already has two, Joe. And he also has tremendous bat speed. I've seen him hit a lot of long home runs in the King Dome this year, and I think he can drive the ball a long way. That's three for Griffey. There's four. Oh. <laughs> and that account for two in the street. Actually, Mike, I, I didn't teach him that. <laughs> <laughs> four outs, four home runs for Ken Griffey Jr. Ooh. That's five. He has the lead on everyone. Barry Bonds is the best player in the game today, but I think Ken Griffey Jr. is the most talented. And I think before his career is over, he will by far be the best player in his league for a long time. Once he reaches that status. And only 23. The top vote getter in the American League. Also in 1991 for the All-Star team. That's six. And you say he hit seven last year. The record is 12. Mark McGuire and Cal Ripken. Seven outs, six homers. Left-handed hitters certainly have an advantage here, but he's put yes. two to straightaway center. Crushed, but well fouled. One out to go for Griffey with six homers. Well, he matched last year's total anyway. Holy cow. Back in the street, that's seven. Popped him up, and Griffey is gone. After a fine power display of seven home runs. Let's go down to Buck Martinez with Ken Griffey Jr. Jr. looked like you really got in a groove there later on in the at bat. Uh, I was a little nervous at first, but uh, you know, after I got in the groove, after I got the first one out the way, I was all right. What's nerve-wracking about this contest? Well, it's just not just some uh, not one to get shut out, uh, trying too hard, uh, just trying to do some things, but now we're okay. All right, great job. Worried about being shut out. He only had seven. But guys like Bobby Bonilla wait their shot. We'll be back in a moment. And even the All-Stars who are on tomorrow's roster, not today's, would like to get up and have a few cuts at it. And coming up next on ESPN, All-Star Monday continues with the Upper Deck Heroes of Baseball. You'll see Brooks Robinson, Boog Powell, Reggie Jackson coming up next here on ESPN. Bobby Bonilla of the Mets, and he showed off some power, Joe. Well, it's a tremendous swing, tremendous home run, but he hits over the right field wall here. And I think the thing that impresses me the most is that acceleration through the hitting zone. Watch all the energy he puts into this swing. The bat ends up hitting him in the back, a la Jim Gentile from the years past. Certainly didn't get cheated on his rips, and Bobby Bonilla ends up with five homers. 
Here's another 23-year-old superstar on the rise, Juan Gonzalez from the Rangers. 23 home runs, 60 RBIs, a 637 slugging percentage coming in. He's just had a marvelous year for the Rangers. And he, Mike, has hit the longest home run in competition here at Camden Yards. For some 450 feet. Tendency really to overswing in a kind of yeah. contest like this, and these guys don't need to. They really do not. See, he didn't even hit that well. <laughs> yeah. He didn't. <laughs> Off the facade. And he didn't hit it. I mean, the sound was not there. Pretty good to miss him and hit him yes. 400 feet. Well, that shows you the strength that Juan Gonzalez has. Everybody has a rooting interest in this one. That's Reggie Jackson, newest member of baseball's Hall of Fame, enjoying the competition. The first Gonzalez homer measured at 445 feet, only five feet off his stadium record. Five outs, one home run. That's two. You see, he hit that one good. He hit that one very well. <laughs> yeah, he did. The sound was there. Two home runs for Gonzalez. The American League leads at 12 7. Out number six. First Ranger ever to lead the majors in home runs a year ago. Look at that. Oh. Again, he didn't hit that ball very well, but it went right over the center field wall. He hit that one pretty yeah. well. <laughs> Holy yeah. cow. No one has ever hit one that far in a game here at Camden Yards. That was off the facade of the second deck. And that one on the inside of the foul pole. And remember, and, and remember, in the game, you get a little help from yeah. the pitcher. In this competition, you supply all the power. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh. I told you you didn't hit those first couple well. I told you. You better not tell me he didn't hit that one. <laughs> yeah, he well. hit that one well. I don't think he can go any farther than that one. 473 feet. What a blast. Five home runs, two outs to go for Juan Gonzalez. Creeped over the wall. That didn't fall more than two feet from the time it left the bat. He can tie Ken Griffey Jr. with one more. And now he's down to one out. Yep, that's out of here. of the center field wall. What a display he's putting on. Juan Gonzalez with seven home runs and a standing ovation. That's a pretty good show, Joe. Yeah, I would hate to have to follow that act. <laughs> Gonzalez and Griffey tied with seven, but the power of Cecil Fielder and Barry Bonds still to come. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Gatorade Home Run Derby from Magnificent Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Mike Patrick, Joe Morgan, and Buck Martinez with you. There's the scoreboard. Juan Gonzalez and Ken Griffey Jr. tied at seven. The National League down by ten, and their chances rest squarely on the shoulders of Barry Bonds. Three outs left for Bonds. And if seven is the winner, Gonzalez and Griffey will have a playoff with five swings each to determine the individual winner. There's a 
another one. Five home runs for Bonds with Cecil Fielder yet to be heard from. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not call this over quite yes. yet. Two outs to go for Barry Bonds. Five home runs. He can actually get into this playoff if he gets hot here. That's Hits right. A couple. One out to go. And Bonds is finished with five home runs. Bonds ends up tied for third in the competition. The National League is done, and now Cecil Fielder gets his chance. He hit that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's one. You have to wonder about this guy. He has put up such prodigious numbers and doesn't seem to get the credit to go with it. Well, it's like he says, you know, Mike, everyone takes what he does for granted. And that's probably the worst thing to happen to an athlete. Hit a ton. That's number two. I mean, there have been some great players come through Detroit, like Al Kaline, who didn't ring up these numbers. Exactly. That's three. Prince Fielder, his son, watching Dad do his thing. That's three. And there goes number four. As it turned out, that's all Cecil Fielder would get. Four, so he falls short in his effort to catch Griffey and Gonzalez. The American League wins as a team, but the individual crown is still in doubt. ESPN's presentation of the Gatorade Home Run Derby is brought to you by Gatorade Thirst Quencher. Nothing quenches that deep down body thirst better than Gatorade. Welcome back to Baltimore. The first ever tiebreaker in the Home Run Derby. In this round, the hitters will get five outs apiece. Ken Griffey hasn't homered in his first two swings. Juan Gonzalez. Thinking maybe he'd get a shot at zero at this point with three outs for Ken Griffey Jr. There's one. But he won't. Will it stay fair? Yes. That's two. The fourth out. One to go here in the playoff. Boy, yes. he bombed that thing. <laughs> That's three. Oh, oh. <laughs> holy cow. That's four and a half. That may have hit the warehouse, and they announce it did. <laughs> That may have damaged the warehouse. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. in the playoff with four home runs and gives Juan Gonzalez something to shoot at. Gonzalez now with four outs left. And you're looking at two distinctly different styles here, mm -hmm. Mike. Gonzalez is strong. He uses strength to hit home runs, not a real quick <laughs> bat. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. has a quick bat, and he's strong. Boy, Gonzalez just kills it. The one during the first round of competition off the facade of the third deck.
That's two. That's his second out. Remember, five outs here in the playoff. And Joe, these guys are not doing this for the money. They're doing it for the competition and for charity. Charity, exactly. But as I think Ken Griffey Jr. described it best, he said two young guys just having fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you were 23 again and could launch them 450, you'd be out there, wouldn't you? Yes, I would, but I don't think I would ever have as much fun as they're having. <laughs> Two outs, three home runs for Gonzalez. Griffey has four in the playoff. What if they tie again? <laughs> we'll find out. Well, they're tied. They're tied. <laughs> Gonzalez putting on a show. His fourth home run. One more will win it. He has three outs to go. Griffey, we're told, hit the warehouse eight feet up. Well, he's down to his last swing. Well, the scoreboard says... No, it's four now. It's yeah. correct. All right, four home runs and three outs. There will be another round of playoffs if they tie. Will no. it? No, he didn't get that one. That's a tie. And the scoreboard was right. That was his last out. Second round of the playoff. Each hitter now gets three outs in this round, and Gonzalez will go first. I think that's fair. That's fair. Yes. Never been a playoff for the championship in the home run derby before. Ooh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Upper deck. That's one in this round. Second out. What pressure when you only get three outs. You're exactly right. Sometimes it takes you that long just to get a groove. Line drive wouldn't stay up for him, so Juan Gonzalez in this round with one home run. And Ken Griffey Jr. Has the chance to win it for himself. What about triple overtime? Sure. <laughs> well, I think it's very difficult to hit more than one or so with with three outs. But young Griff could do it. You'd like to get the first one, wouldn't you? Right. They tied in the first round with seven home runs apiece. They tied in the playoff with four. And there's the first out for Griffin. That's two. He's down now to his we last got some pressure. Swing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now we have some pressure. He saw dust coming out of the bat handle. <laughs> Not high enough. Not high enough. So Juan Gonzalez in double overtime, if you will, wins the home run derby. We invite you to stay tuned for the Upper Deck Heroes of Baseball. Coming up next, once again, our Gatorade Home Run Derby champion, Juan Gonzalez of the Texas Rangers. For Joe Morgan and Buck Martinez, this is Mike Patrick saying so long from Baltimore. Now let's join Gary Thorne with the Heroes of Baseball.